like an iguana paradise. I'm telling you, first of all, we got the doors. Makes it easy to get into. As you can see, we have the poles. Remember, it's an iguana. She doesn't love me coming in here. We have the poles that come down to give her somewhere to go. We actually hot glued these suckers on here so that when she walked up, they didn't slide. Um, this right here, as an iguana, they love to be up high. They like to feel safe the higher they can get. She actually will sleep right here through the entire night. We built this platform, okay? As you can tell, it's just some wood. We put some of this on here. She's trying to whip my face. She doesn't like us looking. This right here was a great idea by the wife, where as you can tell, we just have rope that comes down through the front on both sides that keeps the platform level. We put a piece of wood underneath here so that the back was fine, the ropes held it, we used the level, perfect platform for her. We did put vines all through here, just like any reptile, just about, you know, you'll ever find. They love to have a place where they can feel secure. So we tried to vine it up, even kind of over here in the corner. Um, and you'll see her, she'll love to just kind of sit right back here in the corner. She sits up here. She loves to feel like she's hidden. Down here, we put a hammock. Uh, there are reptile hammocks. Things awesome. Uh, the sweet thing about iguanas is they do not like to really poop or use the bathroom where they, they hang. She loves this, so what she actually does is she'll jump down here on the hammock to use the bathroom, which catches it down here on the bottom. She loves also get down here, just kind of bask. Every now and then she'll come down here on this platform uh, almost to cool off, but we did hang a heater, uh, ceramic heater right here as well. Woo! They get hot, uh, just in case she did come down here as well. Another little sweet thing we did, it was just quick, uh, was this, uh, almost this fencing coming right here up the back. She came down here, but then it was just kind of like, she didn't really have a way to get back up onto this platform. So what we did was pretty much from the entire bottom, she almost has a ladder, which she loves. She'll climb right up and slide right over, won't you? <laughs> But see, as you can even see her, I don't know if you can kind of see her back through here. I know the light's bright. Um, but when she's back in this little thing, she, she just feels safe and secure, which obviously you can tell when I stick my hand here, she's ready to bust me with her tail. Another cool thing we did on both sides is we put the fencing. <laughs> Funny thing was, one layer of fencing, she actually crawled through and got out of. So we were like, all right. So as you can tell, we had to put two, uh, two layers of fencing just to kind of fill in these holes uh, until she gets a little bigger and obviously she will not fit through this. This is on both sides. Um, technically the only thing we really had as a base, we had a metal frame. Uh, so it was all across both sides, we had a metal frame. We had to be extremely creative in coming up with ideas on how to keep her safe, secure, all different ways for her to climb and use the entire enclosure. Um, the back is plywood and we stained and painted as well. One of the downfalls of this cage is a little harder to control her humidity. So we're always spraying her all up here, but that's why we kind of have that thing down on her platform as well as the background as well so that the water kind of gets on her and allows her to still maintain that humidity because she's getting all of her heat and her light that she needs from up there at the top. One of the greatest things about this is that it's on wheels. So obviously we can kind of move it and do whatever we want to do uh, right here. Another awesome thing that we came up with was this latch, which opens this door down here. We wanted it to be easy, accessible, so that we could get to the water bowl just down here a little easier. And as I told you before, she loves to get on the hammock. And so all of this right here catches her, her poop and pee. Um, and it just makes it so much easier to just get this newspaper out of the bottom um, then if we had to go in through the top and reach down in here. And again, we did create a little ladder for her as well that she uses whenever she comes down here. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick uh, do-it-yourself enclosure for iguanas. Uh, I love her. As you can tell, this enclosure is probably a little bigger than what she needs at the moment, but she will grow into this. She has slowly started to use the whole enclosure 
um, any kind of ideas, make sure you leave some comments down below. Subscribe uh, just to check out what we've done for her, a couple of my other reptiles that I have as well. I love building enclosures. The wife is phenomenal at it. Uh, just coming up with layouts, ideas, trials, and errors that we've come across. So uh, just a quick idea, man. I mean, this thing is five feet by seven feet by about two and a half feet here width. Plenty of room for her. Um, and so we're going to lock her up. She'll have a good night. And uh, you guys will catch her up there sleeping throughout the evening.